Your case is gonna have a tag on it. Make sure you leave this tag on there so that we can identify whose it is if it's ever misplaced. Make sure when you're opening your trombone case that it's laying flat on the floor, that the top of the case is on the top and the bottom on the bottom. You can tell sometimes by where the label is on the case. If you're not sure, ask your band director. The latches on this case happen to flip up and then down. And so I'm gonna undo both latches and then open up my case. Inside the case, I have the supplies that I need for trombone. And so let's take a look at those supplies. First, I have Trombo Team, which is a grease or a lubricant for the in inner slide on um, the tube that you use to change pitch. So I'm gonna set that aside. Oops. There is a mouthpiece brush. That's for cleaning out your mouthpiece about once a week with soap and water. And there's a polishing cloth. It's important that you use that to wipe off any fingerprints that you um, get on the instrument. The snake, which is used to clean the inside of the instrument about twice a year when you are able to give the instrument a bath. You can learn more about that later. And this slide grease. This isn't for the long slide, it's for the short tuning slide. Now those are all the supplies that you have inside your case with your instrument. Let's learn how to put it together and make a sound. There are essentially two parts to your trombone when you're assembling it. First, there's the bell part that has the bell and the counterweight and the tuning slide. And then there's the slide that has the water key on it and the bumper. Now we're going to put the slide to our right and the bell to our left. And you wanna put the bell onto the part that has the threads on the slide. So we're gonna stick that together and then make our trombone into an L shape. Let me see if I can show you that. There you go. Where the bell part is at a 90 degree angle with the slide part. Then we're going to take this part of the slide or of the bell and twist it down until it is completely taut with the slide. Then we have our mouthpiece. I'm gonna grab the mouthpiece to put it into the lead pipe. Give it a gentle push and a twist to the right. That's all it needs. Now to hold your trombone, you're going to make a water pistol with your left hand. Put your thumb on top of the bracket that goes between the bell and the slide. Point your finger towards the mouthpiece and reach the other fingers into this square. That's how your left hand sits. Now that also is part of the mechanism of the trombone. This holds the trombone together, but this makes sure that it doesn't slip. Now with your right hand, you're gonna put your two fingers and your thumb across from each other on this part of the slide. That's what will move the slide as you play. There's a slide lock and the slide lock should be moved over anytime you wanna move your slide and back whenever you're not gonna move your slide. Here's a caution about the slide locks. Every once in a while, someone gets their slide lock twisted too far and it jams. Make sure that when you're moving your slide lock, you don't twist it so far that it gets jammed. Just keep it one way or the other, never around and around. Okay, now I'm locking my slide so it's not gonna fall off. And now we're gonna make our first sounds. To make a sound on a trombone, you need to buzz your lips. To buzz your lips, you're gonna blow air through your closed lips and the velocity of that air will make your lips vibrate. So use lots of air, sit nice and tall on your chair. Move this up a little bit, there you go. And you're gonna put the mouthpiece rim right over your lips in the center. Take a deep breath through the corners of your mouth with open teeth and blow. <sighs> While you vibrate your lips. <sighs> Now I'm gonna put the mouthpiece onto the trombone. Gentle push and twist to the right. Hold again like the water pistol and two fingers and a thumb. Unlock my slide 
and then take a deep breath. And I got a sound. Now to play the first sound that we're going to play in band class, we're gonna put our slide out to what we call fourth position. So take this part, the bracket, and move it out until it's about a fist's width away from the rim of the bell. And that's your first note. When you're all finished playing, you need to empty all of the water that's inside your instrument from playing. Our warm air condenses into moisture inside the instrument and it adds up and so it needs to be emptied before you put the instrument away. To do that, you're going to find the water key at the end of your slide, push the water key to open it. Ooh, I got some water. And it falls out of the instrument. You just give it a little shake and it'll go. If your arm is long enough, you can reach out and blow downward to force more of the water out. However, if your arm isn't long enough yet, don't try to use your foot to do that. You can have a friend push the water key if you want, or you can just empty it the way with the shake, and that will be the safest way to make that happen until you grow a little more. Now we're gonna take the instrument apart. We're gonna take the mouthpiece off first, and you can wipe out the inside of the mouthpiece before you put it away to keep it looking good before its next big wash. You can also take the instrument apart here by untwisting. And then once it's completely untwisted, you can twist these parts until they become disassembled. Then you're gonna put them back into the case the same way that you got them out. Sometimes the place that the slide goes is a little tricky. So if you have questions about that, ask your band director. Here is how to grease your slides. First of all, this slide is a tuning slide. It's not the one that you use to play your pitches with. This instead can be pulled out or in for fine tuning. I'm gonna use the grease for this one. This is tuning slide grease. To, pull, to put the tuning slide grease on, you need to first pull the slide out. And then you're going to open up your slide grease and put a little bit of the jelly onto your finger and then put it on the part of the slide that goes inside the tube. So just rub it right like that. Once that's all on, just how you want it. Then you put it back inside your trombone. Make sure that the small tube goes on the small part and the big tube goes on the big part and push gently until it goes together. Depending on how your trombone is set up, you might need the slide to be slightly out or all the way in. Um, most of the time, it's slightly out. Now we're gonna grease this slide, the one that you change pitch with. We're gonna use trombotine today, but there's all kinds of different lubricants that you can use for the inside of that. Whatever you've gotten in your starter pack is what you should use. So we're gonna take the whole slide off and then we're just gonna take and open our trombotine or whatever slide grease you're using and put just a little bit down the slide. And you can take a paper towel or your hand, whichever is fine, and just rub it on to the slide. Make sure your hands are clean if you're using your hands because you don't want any extra grease to go on to your slide or any extra dirt and oils from your hands. Once you've got that rubbed on, then it's time to take and put your slide back together. So we're going to line it up so that the part that has the slide lock is on the slide lock part of the inner slide. Make sure that it goes back together nicely and make your slide lock lock up. Sometimes it can be tricky to figure out how to put your trombone back into its case. For this one, we're going to put the slide back in the back part and push down. 
until it's where it needs to be. Now, if you try and it doesn't close, like if you try to close the case and it's resisting you, then open it back up and try a different way until it doesn't resist. The instrument will fit like a glove once you've got it right. Now we're gonna put the bell in. And I can see that the bell fits on this end and the rest of it fits right into place. Like a glove. Then when we close it, no resistance. 